In studying some of these early histories of this region of the country, there is much that can be learned. As we found armament, massive burials, bone heaps, and ancient fortifications. One site that was excavated was the Dixon Mound site, where they found hundreds of skeletons of all ages buried together under a heaping mound, which would suggest that a major battle had taken place there. Found sculptured in the landscape of this continent is the Serpent Effigy Mound, found atop a hill in Adams County, Ohio. In 1846, Squire thought that the effigy mound was a representation of a serpent and an egg in combination, a symbol that does have many old world connections. Symbols are the language of the ancients, a timeless universal language that is rich in figurative expression. Symbols are like viewing a diamond from different vantage points. In examining a cut diamond, one finds that it reflects light differently from every angle viewed. The monuments of the ancient mound building cultures exhibit great symbolism and are marvelously instructive as an expressed language. It has been said that symbols are the means whereby we enrich, deepen, and enhance our understanding. The Bible is replete with parables, allegories, similes, and metaphors given as a symbolic language to teach society many life lessons. If you visit this site, the park director will probably tell you that it's a serpent eating an egg. However, as we've viewed these surveys and saw the arrows that was located on the body and on the top, we says, no, what this is saying is that the head is emerging from the body and it's shedding its skin. It is being born again. And I think that it is that message that is trying to be uh, shared here, which is rich in biblical symbolism. Though most of these sites have been destroyed, the evidence of these ancient people are many. This is a map depicting an ancient archeological sites found in the state of Ohio, as known in 1914. And as you can see that they're kind of concentrated along the major waterways that's low pile. One of the best records of these mound building cultures, as we know, is the very first publication of the Smithsonian, the ancient monuments of the Mississippi Valley, where Squire and Davis had surveyed hundreds of these fortifications, mounds, and earthwork structures. One question raised in the early 1800s was what to call these ancient mound building cultures. The name given was Adena and Hopewell cultures, as they were named after the landowners on whose farm the earliest explorations had taken place. With the Hopewell culture being named after Captain Mordecai C. Hopewell. The Hopewell is really viewed as the largest of the mound building cultures. This map shows the Hopewell interaction sphere as it extends from the Gulf of Mexico up into Canada as their ancient sites have been primarily found on the major waterways of America's heartland. 